Hello and welcome to Finding Your Indie. Today we're going to talk about how indie authors can leverage trends, especially seasonal trends, to sell more books. If you've been following Bonnie and I for a while, you know how much we love planning. We have a quarterly marketing course that helps you schedule out your marketing for the quarter. Our next boss mode opens up at the end of the month for June. The best thing is you pay once and then you get to join us every single quarter. Seasonal trends are wonderful to add to your marketing plan. Marketing plans are so important because it helps you prepare for the slower times of the year. We also have a video on market fluctuation. I'm going to link that below so you can check it out. Um, there's still going to be unexpected things like wars, but having a plan helps you not feel these fluctuations quite as much. And capitalizing on seasonal trends can be a game changer. Why? Because it helps you get the attention of the target audience and boost your sales when the interest is high. Now let's discuss the various seasonal opportunities that authors can capitalize on throughout the year. And you need to remember that sometimes readers read seasonally as well. Sometimes I am more into uh, sweets, you know, hallmarky around Christmas, and other times I like to read, you know, urban fantasy mostly. So every reader is different, but people like different things at different times of the year too. For major holidays like Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, to niche events uh, for your specific genre, there's so many opportunities that you can tap into. If you watch my social media corner every month, I, I talk about different things for your social media page. This is kind of the same thing, but we're targeting it for your books and for your book promotions. So I even look for uh, different shows and movies that are going to come out because you can really grab readers like that too. But how do you know which seasonal trends to focus on for your genre? Okay, that's where research comes in. Uh, you need to identify seasonal keywords, hashtags, trends that are relevant for your audience. You can use Google, it's great. The more data you have, the easier it's gonna to be to plan your marketing campaigns. You can also take these keywords and put them into your KDP account per season and research keywords to use for your Amazon ads. You can even book covers and ad creatives to align with your seasonal themes and trends. Uh, visibility is key here. It's just like you would update your book covers around trend from man chest to cartoon coverage. You can do this around holidays too. I see this a lot in romance, really pushing the seasons with different covers. A lot of authors also do special editions. Little changes like this can make a huge difference in your visibility. Okay, now let's discuss creating seasonal promotions to offer to entice readers during the peak seasonal periods whether it's a limited, limited time discount, special holiday bundle, exclusive bonus, creating a sense of urgency is very important. It can drive conversions and maximize your sales. There are a few like really big holidays that you can do this around. Uh, of course, there's Christmas, Valentine's Day, holidays, all the big ones like that. But there's also things like Christmas in July, which is great for like Hallmarky books. Um, I write Christmas books, so this is a good time for me to push. And then I really start pushing again in October for the Christmas season. There's 4th of July, back to school. Paranormals do amazing around Halloween. You can start pushing those spooky reads around August. Um, run special promos for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And then right after Christmas are tons of books, uh, opportunities for book sales because everybody has those gift cards that they can start spending. Okay, so now let's talk about planning seasonal advertising campaigns across various platforms. From Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, BookBub, you can add all of this into your marketing plans. If you're in our HiveMind group, we are going to go over the best practices for targeting, budgeting, and optimizing your campaigns in there. Lastly, I want to emphasize uh, you need to be flexible with all marketing plans. Things happen. Uh, you know, holidays stay the same, but market trends can change quickly. So it's, in, it's important to be flexible and monitor everything. Um, and there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more tips, and join our free Facebook group. I will put that below. Thanks.